Hey guys, got another custom e-bike build for you. Uh, Want to go over what bike this is, what we did to it, what makes this bike awesome. If you're new to the channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I am a professional e-bike nerd, which means that I convert bikes into e-bikes. What I recommend doing is take a good bike, electrifying it, and turning it into a great e-bike. And that's what this is. This is a Trek 4300. It's a 19 and a half inch frame. It's got 26 inch tires, are these 26? Yeah, it's got 26 by 2.3 inch tires. Um, they're not super aggressive tires, so this would be kind of good for, for a commuter, uh, especially since it's a hardtail. You can see it's got rack brazons here, so you could mount a rack here, but it still has a front suspension fork, so you could take this on trails. This is why I really love hardtail bikes because it's the most versatile bike, I feel like. You could take it off-road, do some light trails, nothing crazy, but you could just put a rack on it, put some bags on it, and now you got yourself a commuter, long distance traveler. This is great, it's got hydraulic disc brakes, it's got the high Hayes Dyno. And yeah, this was a good, he, he bought this, the customer brought this to me, got this at the last minute, uh, found it online, used, and yeah, this is a great candidate. This is what, if you're thinking about like, I don't have a bike, Look on Craigslist, look on whatever your local you know, marketplace is. Pick up one of these for a couple hundred bucks. This has got hydraulic disc brakes, suspension front fork. It's a Trek, it's made with good components. And then you spend another thousand bucks, maybe 1200 bucks, and you got yourself a killer e-bike. Uh, so let's go over what we did to this bike. I added a Bufang BBS-02. It's a 750 watt motor, so it's street legal in almost all 50 states and almost everywhere you go. It peaks at a little over 1500 watts, I believe. So when you really get onto it, it puts out quite a bit of power. We went with the 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery. So on this bike, uh, with somebody like me riding it, Depending on how you ride it, it's going to get between 30 and 60 miles. You can see this is just, these are the keys dangling off of here. I put them on here so I don't ever lose them. For the display, we just went with the C965. It's just a basic black and white display, um, which is fine. It still shows you almost all the same information. Um, it's just a little bit cheaper. Still shows you your speed, trip, average speed, max speed, your odometer, things like that. It's got a throttle on here. And people always ask me, can you use the throttle and the pedal assist at the same time? Yes, you can. You could override it. You could use the pedal assist. It's got nine levels of pedal assist. So you could dial it in from zero, so it's just you, all the way up to nine, which is like everything it's got. Or you could always just hit the throttle and bypass it and just go. Just went with the stock chain ring on here. I believe it's a 46 tooth. That could always be upgraded if you wanted more hill climbing. You could upgrade it, go with like a 36 tooth. You could go as low as a 28 tooth. And that, this thing would just be a wheelie machine at that point, just because of that gear ratio there. And we got a gear shift sensor on it. I put one on every single install I do. You really would have to convince me not to put one of those on. And even then I would just, I don't know, I'd, I'd be like, okay, you're, it's your bike, whatever. It's just got SR, Suntour, uh, front forks with preload adjustment and it has lockout, which is nice. They're not crazy high-end component forks, but they're, they're definitely good. And it's nice that they have lockouts if you want to do road riding and you don't want to be losing all that compression. Yeah, all right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Again, really happy with this bike. I love doing bikes like these. I just love doing hard tails that are, that are you know, good quality bikes. And I strongly recommend you consider getting a hard tail, like a good Trek, Specialized, whatever. Something name brand with good specs on it. Maybe pick one up secondhand. You could pick up one of these for maybe like three, 400 bucks, sometimes even less. If someone doesn't know what they got or someone just doesn't really care and they just want to upgrade. I mean, you could get screaming deals on these bikes, and these are good bikes, and they'll, they'll last for years and years and years, as long as you just take care of it. And if you like this video, subscribe, like it, do all that jazz. I right, have room for one more, one more subscription.
All right. Thanks, guys.